Airplanes have been flying away from Wordsmith Air Force Base for several months now. Some of its planes have been reassigned, but its B-52Gs are obsolete, and they will all end up in the same place. Old Crow Express is the last of the huge bombers at Wordsmith, and it's also the most famous. It had an impressive 35-year history, including service over Vietnam and a record number of missions in Desert Storm. B-52s dropped over 33% of the weapons used in the Desert Storm War, and the Old Crow came back without a scratch. This plane was pretty much maintenance-free out there. It was a real dependable aircraft, and it still is a dependable aircraft. So maybe one day you might see these come back out of retirement. You never know. It's unlikely that any of these 300 B-52s will ever return to service. Unlike the majority of the planes here at the Aircraft Maintenance and Regeneration Center, the B-52s, or buffs, will all be chopped into sections by a 13,000-pound guillotine. That fate also awaits Old Crow. It's an end of an era. You know, a great airplane that served our country for 30-plus years and uh, it's just a little tough to, to park it here knowing full well that these guys will gently but uh, gracefully cut it in about eight different pieces. Touchdown is the ultimate end to the 379th Bombardment Squadron and Wing. Now inactivated, the squadron literally got to quit while they were ahead. Even with obsolete aircraft, they place a close second in the final Strategic Air Command bomb-nav competition. They have a term for their success. The Wurtsmith magic. We were the underdogs. We had uh, bad airplanes. Our base was already slated for closure. We'd already started shutting down quite a bit of the components on the on the base, and we took a, a unit that was pretty much destined for places uh, unknown, and came in uh, a very close second. Uh, we came in number two overall in the competition, command wide, and we were extremely pleased with that. And we missed first place by uh, by just that much. So it was kind of a nice way to to finish out our tribute at Wurtsmith. Old Crow Express will be taped up and stored in the desert for some time. Many of these bombers have been here for 20 years. AMARC plans to begin cutting up the planes in May. Rick Mixter, News 5, Tucson, Arizona.